It's day 192. Of the 29th year and beyond. So um, today I want to talk about perspective. Okay, let's talk about perspective. Okay, so you know, it's like, is a, is a cup half full or half empty? Right? Okay. Well, and this all came from me watching an episode of The Good Doctor. The Good Doctor. <laughs> And it was interesting because um, it was a story about a patient that had autism. And she had a relationship with a young man. They were roommates. With the doctor? Well, not Sean, but um, a patient had autism. And her roommate, they both had autism. I hope you all follow me. <laughs> but anyway, um, one of the doctors who doesn't, you know, one of the other doctors, she kept trying to get Sean to communicate with her. And he was like, well... For people who don't know, Sean is a doctor with... Autism. Autism. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So, kept trying to get her to communicate. He was like, well, you think I communicate with her just because I have autism? And so she's like, mm, okay. So maybe that's not that's not the best way to go. But anyway, um, she couldn't understand why the um, young lady and her roommate, um, even though they had a sexual type relationship, didn't really have a relationship. Her perspective was from her view. Mm -hmm. As someone who doesn't have autism. Okay. Which takes me back to, you know, why are you sharing that? It mm -hmm. takes me back to one of my favorite, favorite quotes mm -hmm. by Anais Nen. Mm -hmm. um, and she says, we don't see things as they are. We see them as we are. Exactly. Right. And in a marriage, um, and in relationships in general, um, it gets down to perspective a lot of times. You know, um, you may do something one way. Mm -hmm. And from your perspective, this is a perfect way to do it. Right. But from... Your spouse's perspective is completely wrong. How do you manage that in a relationship? Well, I just think that you have to respect the fact that, again, you're individuals. And even though you may be very compatible, you may agree about many things, you still come uh, to a place with different experiences, with different uh, 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 revelations, with different knowledge. I mean, different passions. I mean, mm -hmm. so there's so many factors that will lend itself, I believe, to you having the perspective that you have. But you have to heighten your awareness to the fact that, okay, your perspective is not the only one that needs to be considered. Exactly. And that was my point. In a relationship, you have to be willing. You may not agree, All right. but you have to be willing to try and see something from someone else's perspective. It's sort of like when um, you left and went to D.C. to start the, um, to consider the starting a ministry. And I was adamant, no, I didn't think that was a good idea. Mm -hmm. But I still had to see it from your perspective mm -hmm. as a pastor, mm -hmm. and you're following what you felt God was calling you to do. Right. I still had to see it from that perspective. Did it make me happy? No. But did I accept it? Yes. Well, and again, um, understanding that there is value in being able to respect and make the effort to understand uh, someone else's point of view, somebody else's perspective. Uh, and uh, um, it, it is definitely necessary because uh, f people in a love relationship are no different from people in any other relationship. You cannot mandate people to see things your way. You mm -hmm. cannot, co well, you can attempt to coerce and manipulate, but that's just not genuine. And so, uh, by sharing perspectives, hopefully you heighten your awareness to one another's different points of view, and you can then decide what's going to be in the best interest for us to move forward in the best possible healthy way. And I also think that um, looking at other people's perspectives and trying to understand them, it also helps you grow. Absolutely. And in that episode, I watched that particular doctor grow by understanding she finally understood the perspective of where they were coming from. You know, they were in a relationship, but it wasn't a love relationship, but it was, you know, but it was a different type of love relationship because of the autism, you know, and, but I watched her grow from this person who just, well, this doesn't make any sense to a person who's become to understand. Well, meaning uh, objectivity does provide opportunities for one to be able to broaden their understanding, their perspectives, uh, as well as their knowledge yeah. Yeah, and their experiences. That's right. So, perspective. Perspective. Hmm. Until tomorrow, if the Lord says the same. Bye.